The crew on board the Virginia class will experience seemingly normal living conditions, but they'll be up to 800 feet below the ocean, so safety is a top priority. Every possibility must be prepared for. In the unlikely event of a submarine sinking, we definitely have the capability to escape. In case a sub's internal atmosphere is ever compromised, Chief Warrant Officer Eric Neighbors trains the crew to perform a pressurized escape using an ingenious piece of equipment called a psi suit. It's designed to provide the occupant fresh breathing air through the compression and ascent phases. It provides 75 pounds of positive buoyancy in the water. It travels at 625 feet per minute through the water column. Topside, request permission to fill and equalize. Yeah, permission to fill and equalize. As the regulated lifting force of the suit propels the students safely through the 37-foot escape trainer, they must follow one golden rule. The number one rule of submarine escape is never, ever hold your breath. Because the escapee is breathing compressed gas at depth, and they travel through the water column, the pressure around them decreases. We are concerned with pulmonary overinflation syndrome. This potentially fatal condition can cause the rupture of air sacs in a crew member's lungs. If a student were to hold their breath, that would occur. So we teach them to breathe normally or exhale the entire way to the surface. In open water, the psi suit can withstand up to 250 pounds of pressure per square inch. These suits have been tested to depths up to 600 feet of seawater. The psi suit itself is an incredible piece of engineering. 